Hey there, strategizers. Just here looking for a few good Spartans and elites. The Halo Reach beta is ready to hit Xbox Live, and the Haloverse will never be the same. Reach adds a lot of new stuff that wasn't in Halo 3 or ODST, and even Halo veterans will want to know about the new armor abilities and tweaks to the gameplay. So before you strap on your headset and head online, make sure you study our tips well. It just may be the difference between life and death, or at the very least, watching a spawn countdown. Let's get to the big stuff first, armor abilities. Before you spawn, you'll be able to pick one special ability that you activate by hitting the left bumper. As you use it, your ability meter will drain. When it runs out, you'll need to wait for it to recharge before you can use it again. The abilities in the beta are active camo, armor lock, sprint, evade, and the jetpack. Let's take a look at each one. Revenge. As you probably guessed, active camo turns you invisible and jams the radar of everyone around you, including yourself. The effects will actually last longer the slower you move, so be stealthy with your movements. Armor lock turns you invincible, but you won't be able to move when you have it turned on. This ability is great for holding areas. If you can have three guys defending an area, make sure they all have armor lock, but don't activate it at the same time. Have one person's ability run out and then have the next guy immediately trigger his. This drives attackers crazy. Also, once your armor lock wears off, you'll trigger an EMP blast. This is great for taking down enemy shields, and you will definitely want to take those down. It's important to note that in Reach, you can no longer do one-hit melee kills when enemies have full shields. <laughs> evade and Sprint are both self-explanatory. Using Evade, you can roll to avoid getting hit, and Sprint causes you to... Sprint. They're both great to get out of trouble in a pinch, but sorry Spartans, only Elites can use the Evade ability. Even better, they can both be used to get close to someone and pull off a surprise assassination move. These are one-hit kills performed by holding down the melee button when you're right behind someone. They'll never see it coming. Finally, we have the jetpack. This can also be used to get close to someone, drop on their back, and pull off an assassination or surprise attack from above. Be aware that the jetpack makes noise. If you use it too much, people will hear you coming from a mile away. Instead, it's smarter to cut your jets before you get too close. Just watch out for fall damage if you cut them in the air. Yep, fall damage is back. <coughs> As a general note, besides the jetpack, it won't be clear what armor ability you have on you. After you die, switch your abilities up to keep your opponents guessing. If you keep using the same one, people will adapt to your strategies. And where's the fun in that? All right, that's it for your intro to armor abilities. Check back next week for even more Halo Reach goodness. Become a better soldier and do the UNSC proud or covenant, whatever the case may be. And for more tips, tricks, and propaganda, head on over to guides.ign.com. What's in the next episode of Strategize? You tell us. Follow at IGN.com on Twitter and give us your feedback.